So have you ever wondered living in Manitoba and living in Saskatoon, what it looks like? Like, which one should I choose? Especially if you are Federal Express Entry Peking. So today on my video, I have the special guest away from Saskatoon and I, I live in Manitoba. So let's compare living in these provinces, what it looks like. That means we won't talk about the similarities and the differences. So if, it's, if this is what you've been looking for, stick around and you don't want to skip any of the video and please like share comment and subscribe so on my channel today i have this beautiful <laughs> mama so please introduce yourself to us hello everyone my name is christy my channel name is christy spurs and um, i talk about life in canada i talk about lifestyle generally and i also talk about faith I share my experiences my struggles and everything in between if those things sounds like what you might be interested in you should go follow me on, on youtube and also on instagram christy's places is where you catch me you know <laughs> living yeah. my life and you know giving you all the fun content yeah, yeah. so today we'll be talking about the similarities and different between living in Manitoba and living in Saskatoon or Saskatchewan and this is because sometimes you might be <laughs> you might be wondering okay so which of the provinces should I um, live in what are the similarities what are the differences so today we just want to share our experiences and hope that this will help you make a decision about where to live yeah <laughs> and i know for some of us that pronunciation that the yeah, province pronunciation can be a lot so let's do it something. A lot. Can you teach us how to pronounce it? I was here for like a year before I knew how to pronounce Saskatchewan. So it's Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Okay. Calm Saskatchewan. down. Calm so down. <laughs> Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Yes. Yeah. So it's S A S K A T C H E W A N. So it's Saskatchewan. Okay. Ah, I got it to Saskatchewan. <laughs> so so during the course of the video, if you see me pronounce it, it's because that thing. Oh, we can just stick with Saskatoon. I think that's easier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what we will start with is um, our weather. I know for Manitoba, it can be really, really cold. What uh, what does the weather look like in in Saskatoon? So in Saskatoon, from so there was a time I had to go google and search and see why is saskatoon so cold and i realized it's one wow. of the coldest places in um in canada how i during, have it during winter we have gotten to as high as minus 50. wow we've gotten to sometimes uh, minus 40 feels like minus 51 we've got say, like really bad snow so it can be really cold and when it's and hot it's, it's really hot so it's like we are like enjoying the extreme ends of the weather so it's also very cold in Saskatchewan wow. that means there's no much difference between when it comes to the cold right and living over there when it comes to the cold and the hot part because so right hot, now how cold does it get how low does it yeah, get yeah our weather for this year was okay but yeah. for last year we went as bad as minus 50 yeah so it's like yeah, almost the same so, yeah so that means our weather for both provinces are like almost the yes. same both mm. the hot and the cold it seems mm. we are at the screaming because i think it's just four hours to get your to you that means we are like um neighbors yeah we are neighbors when yes. it's so our weather of course our weather is, is alike how is it easy to get job over there say it depends on what your field is so saskatoon is um basically known for agriculture mining and things like that and also like every other province is also known for health the health sector we will get yeah. to that <laughs> is also known for the like everywhere there's health sector health um, jobs in every all of the provinces like so care job like care jobs like nurses you know doctors and there are jobs for those people it's just that mm -hmm. mm, you know <laughs> yeah. as immigrants there's there are like um different pathways to get into those rules but when it comes to the kind of jobs that are like more prevalent we have more of um jobs in agriculture more in mining we have more of the we have some of the government jobs because some most of the government jobs you have, we have their headquarters in, in Regina, which is the yeah. capital of Saskatchewan. So we have some government jobs. There are even sometimes you want to do some interviews for government jobs or maybe some medical.
medical test or something, they will ask you to come to Regina. So yeah. that's how far <laughs> is it to so Regina is about is about two hours. Wow. If you we, are, were, we are based in the capital, like um the main place in Manchester, yeah. Winnipeg, where most of the Immigrants, except are. now that they are trying to populate the original parts. Aside that, every other, everyone who stays here in the middle, like Winnipeg. So you have like Regina as your capital? Yes, Regina is our capital. So, and that's where most of the headquarters is. So, there are Do people still stay there. Yeah, people stay in Regina. Though the people that have gone to Regina and lived in Saskatoon say Saskatoon is finer. Huh? <laughs> and they said that that's the way it is for most um, most places that the other like the other major city is most times finer in terms of infrastructure and all that than the capital so we have jobs like generally we have jobs it's just recently there's been i'll not call it a drought i'll just say there's been a reduce a reduction in the amount of jobs we have available but agriculture we, there's jobs in agriculture there is in mining there is in health sector it not so much when you're looking for jobs in it you'll be looking at maybe the ontario of this world the toronto of this world <laughs> but yeah generally you have you know because for most people that are here they come through the provincial nomination so whatever it is that the kind the of job that you, yeah. you would find something yeah so it's oh. not yeah so for for us in Manitoba, like Winnipeg, um, there are jobs just like the way you said, like else every every like everywhere we have all the jobs, and our major strength here is construction. Oh, oh, that's good. So if you are looking at um, like you are an engineer, electrician, because I'm also in that field as an engineer, so I know that we have lots. And here in Manitoba, in Winnipeg, construction seems to be like our biggest investment like everybody's just going into buying house selling house this one construction <laughs> so all this um your handwork i know you can't just stop by and say oh i'm a plumber or like i do mm -hmm. you have to still do licensing for them yes of course then there are transferable skills here too like maybe you are still trying to figure out what your career looks like there are jobs that you can like um being an admin we have a lot of complaints here i know it's not up to what toronto will have but we are not doing bad here mm. yeah. another thing i want us to discuss is cost of living uh for us here a two-bedroom apartment can go for like 1100 per month how much does it cost over there two bed with one bath yeah two bed one bath so if you want a good space too bad we one bath right now is going for as high as a thousand seven hundred like what's the minimum like when i mean our minimum we can have like one one i mean for old houses i know there are houses like i've been to a house one of my friends even stays there like elevator um community room gym you know swimming pool all of those ones they can go as high as two thousand though so but I mean, like just normal, basic <laughs> using your fob to open your door, like normal house, like normal house. Can so we even like for one, the old one, houses, one, even for the old houses, you two bed with one bath will go as high as thirteen hundred. Houses are pretty expensive right now and wow. um yeah houses are pretty expensive and for you to get a 1000 no you'll be looking at basement apartment to get wow. a 1100 basement basement yeah. these are one code basement <laughs> <laughs> if you want like um a house house an apartment mm -hmm. even if it's old it's it's you you'll be planning like around two bed one bath you'll be planning around at least let's do yeah somewhere you will live and you'll be you well maybe you don't have all the amenities like in like community lounge and all that but mm -hmm. like yeah you you'll be fine with just plan for like between 1300 to 1500 see i've joined canadians to be saying 1300 <laughs> yeah, that's like one three one five yeah so it's it's houses are pretty expensive right now 
Then let's talk about food. I know like for food that's cost of living is what we get except it's not even close like because i know that when people do see cargo and they say oh to toronto is like one dollar to for custom duty but i know when it's like coming to this place it is like three dollars something and i know it should be like almost same thing that mm. is cost of food for cost of african food we almost be like same thing over there yeah african so, foods are quite not they are expensive too so that's why you see people do more of cargoing foods yeah, rather yeah, than yeah. actually buying because yeah. going to the african store is you can't you can't say you want to go buy um a bulk something to, to store up if you are going to the african store it's just to maybe um yeah get some food. finished and yeah you can yeah i would think we can want to get like it's not it's not a place where you want to they are pretty expensive too yeah i i understand the expensive part of it because all the way from nigeria mm. it's like 36 hours even with plane or 30 yeah. or something so imagine using c that's like three months six months to bring them here the cost before they factor Some in all they have those well things. Said by the time they got yeah into. so i understand them like it's a risk it's a lot of risk doing african food so we expect it to be expensive but for a real canadian store do you have them over there too yeah we have real canadian store that's also club yeah we have also so like get... pork food like tomato and bell pepper do you have them there too yes but for bulk tomato and bell peppers um wholesale club sells more than mm -hmm. the real canadian store here wow so if you're looking for bulk peppers bulk tomatoes wholesale club is the place to go what oh. about transportation transportation for us, our basic bus is like um three dollars something was like if you don't have a card you know there's usually a card for per month subscription if you just like i just want to go out and there's usually like it's usually like um uh three dollars something to it's about the same range for us oh so that means our transportation is almost it's about three dollars yeah yeah so i think and it's about 83 dollars if you are paying for the month. month okay and that and month you can month use your card whenever wherever no there's no limit to the number of rights you can what about electricity so electric city is basically it fluctuates. Sometimes we are like, what did we do this month that our electricity bill is this high? <laughs> It, is that a class rate? Because I, I went, I traveled to Toronto at some point and I, the lady that hosted us was saying, oh, she needs to wash play, um, her clothes now, which was around p.m., like late night. And then she was saying that because she said that at night, their rate is always cheaper. But for us in Winnipeg, we have flat rates. So like, even if you cook in the morning, cook in the afternoon, we don't have flats. We, we have flats. We don't have rice or I time so this is not something i have i have actually um what's it called observed mm -hmm. but i heard so because of what we heard when we just arrived we've not actually checked to see whether it's true or not when we just arrived we were told that um the rates on weekends and in the nights are better oh so if we want to watch like do our laundry we do laundry on weekends because of that we do yeah evenings so if you want to do like evenings and um weekends if you want to get the lower rate so we don't have but it's not something we've actually sat down to see we've not yeah. tried during the week or in the midday to actually check is it actually cheaper but that was what we heard and we just stopped with it so maybe now that we are talking about it we'll actually check to see oh so is there a difference <laughs> if we wash during the day or like during the week yeah like water like most houses comes with water right yes mm -hmm. but i see that there are some standing loans that you have to pay for water is yes and i see for us water is around 70 dollar 50 dollar per month the way the people so i i live in a townhouse and so water comes with the house so mm -hmm. the way the people that live in standalone houses complain about the amounts they need to pay for water it sounds like it's expensive for sure so that we don't use too much water we need to yeah. we, we cannot stay too long in the bathroom and i'm like huh? <laughs> 
So on weekends, I want to stay under the shower and just you know, I just want to, to run over my head. You know, especially when it's really hot, like right now. Yeah. So the way they complain about it, it sounds like something that might be expensive. Okay, so moving on, then I want us to talk about the tax. We can take it up from there. Okay, so um we were talking about cost and I was wondering the effect of tax on our um, cost for each um, provinces. So for us, we pay two taxes and mm -hmm. both comes to 11% of, except on food, every other thing we, we purchase as the tax on them. And um, so we pay PST, which is provincial tax, and then we pay the GST. So both, one is 5%, the other is 6%, and both taxes come to 11%. Uh -huh. And of course, that would add to whatever it is, the amount of... So your tax is lower than our own. Come oh. on. We pay more. We pay How 5 or 7. So that's 12. 12 on everything that we buy. But it's strange because I can't remember that Nigeria had um, different tax rates for different states. And the fact that you you know in nigeria when you buy a good your tax is already embedded in it you don't have to worry about um paying extra money when when i'm buying a good of five something but right here you now buy something like um, a pencil of one dollar you still be expecting twelve dollar or that something uh, 12, 11 yeah, cents <laughs> Extra. You know, at, at first it was strange, like, you know, how, oh, what, how much is that thing? Oh, five dollars, ah, let's go now. And then and you know, then get there, and like, like six dollars. Eventually, we've adjusted to it, like, mm. it's now part of us. There's nothing. So, when you're asking it. for prices, now you're, you're asking, is the tax included in that cost? You yeah, are not just asking yeah. for some <laughs> even say the plus, um, when they say five dollars plus taxes, and just know that plus taxes, like, it means that like it's not just five dollars as yeah. the taxes, yeah. Yeah. Hmm, so, so Manitoba pays 12 percent. 12 yeah, okay. we pay twelve. We pay then, yes. what's your minimum wage is there? Uh, minimum wage right now. As at July second, twenty twenty four. Yeah. So I think for Manitoba, it is around. It's not up to sixteen. It's fifteen something something for Manitoba. Yeah. So for yeah. Saskatchewan, it's about fifteen fifteen dollar per hour. So Manitoba yeah. people, you are any mother also. Should we move down to? But we but are paying we, more tax you now. You want us to you. move because of 30 cents per hour. We are, we are, are paying more tax. Oh, you are safe, safe. They've, oh, take, oh, they've yeah. taken it. 30 <laughs> cents. Hold <All> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, our two provinces is now, it's not like, oh, the weather is good. Let me change. Yeah, There's so the, the difference is not that much, right? <laughs> Then what about the culture? Let's talk about culture. I'll, I'll, I know Nigerians, we always be Nigerians. We can't take us away from us. Culture like um, with every other person around us. For us here in Manitoba, we are friendly Manitoba. That means for every, most of them, when you meet them, they are so friendly. Other nationalities, when we meet them, they are, oh, hi, oh, yay, where are you from? Nigeria, hey. Like they are so happy to learn from us, to hear about what we do. You know, they used to think we live on this tree, Abi. we live in one earth, so, and... <laughs> <laughs> so they are so willing to hear from her. what does it look like over there so it's the same here so when i came here newly we that was about almost it'll be three years in october that we've been in canada wow you're a senior. And, <laughs> so when we came here i just realized that people are just naturally nice like mm. your car is stuck in the snow people are parking to help you park the snow to help you yeah, shove them it you mm -hmm. are lost on the road somebody you are asking somebody oh how do i know i'm lost this is where i'm going they are ready to help you get into the right bus that was when, when i just came i used the transit bus i think for about six months before i got a new job and you know they were just naturally nice they want to know about you they want to ask oh your head they want to talk about your wig they want to talk yeah. about Every like the single time I thing. Say, oh, this is not my hair, like I'm wearing it. Say, oh, they want to ask it? about your age, like you look young. They're always telling me I look younger than my age. Ah, and at some point, I was like, that. Are you is people? It, it is like they should oh, can I touch that? Like, no, we don't do that from where we are coming from. What's the sex of the baby? When are you giving me? Say, ah, ah, we don't do all this. Stuff from where wait for me in the labor room. <laughs> Oh my god. So, but I, I also discovered that as 
friendly as they can be when it comes to the workplace you need to be careful because some people very, can be friendly careful. and, and still also be and still be sneaky i've experienced mm. some friendly sneaky you know relationships that made me realize that mm, when they smile be careful yeah it's not yeah. all of them you, you know why we think that they are sneaky is because they really you know nigerian when they say oh what happened here we can say that um i think i no they don't know how to um um be diplomatic so we, their, yeah no they would just say it straight oh what did who did it it is this person and they would just uh, say, so it's like they don't that. know it's, it's like somebody is smiling with you and in the next minute the person is saying i i is telling your supervisor i don't think i want to work with this person oh I will mm, you could get as bad as that, that. yeah like I know somebody people yeah say that too a lot somebody somebody just you know asked you oh, should we go to lunch together some minutes ago and you are hearing the next day that just after that invitation to lunch your supervisor is hearing a complaint about how this person says they don't want to work with you wow so it could get as bad as that you're speaking no i know i understand the we say well, whatever it is you want to say however however you want to take it is how you take it but sometimes mm -hmm. when it comes to workplace friendships we need to be careful <laughs> lots of complaints about workplace like the way we think they are friendly is not the way they you are you know friendly. in nigeria if i'm not happy with you you will i will tell you i'm not and we won't you. even be friends we will not be friends like yeah. if i don't want to be your friend at work you i will not be your friend yeah but i've discovered in the workplace here yeah, that somebody can be your friend friend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but not really your friend <laughs> yeah so workplace workplace friendships is a whole lot of conversation on its own and it's, it's just a, yeah it's a part lot of what we are learning lot. yeah yeah it's part of the cultural shock that we have to adjust to mm. you know we nigerians we just oh i like when we are laughing we are laughing we are laughing we we are, not, we are not laughing me. we are not laughing <laughs> yeah. if you don't like you show it on our face but they they like um saying something and inside they are doing something else That's i, I really. understand it but i've not been able i've not met people like that because in my own field and where what i'm doing i'm my own head there so oh, okay. i people work for me so i and i won't do that for them mm. like i remember i needed to appraise a lady a chinese lady that works with me and i like i told my boss straight ah, add money to this girl's money like that uh, was the can it come you know the way we appraise people and say they the ones who appraise you they will be giving you two three three uh, uh, how now i'm this i'm the boss of this person so me i will just be giving you as do you me and increase the money but they i understand it yeah so i've not experienced it because even when i appraise i appraise like mass mass me mm. i get it so another thing i want us to talk about is driving for us in mantoba we don't need extracts to bring for all the way from nigeria they just need their driver's license valid one take it to mpi mpi is public mantoba public insurance they're the one that deals with our driving and everything for us so you just give it to them if you don't know how to drive at all at all that's like you're starting from a graduate learner but if you know how to drive you just do your rating and if you pass the rating you do your road test that's what we just do i did it twice before i passed so what does it look like to to so drive I, before i go to saskatchewan i want to touch on so how does this affect the insurance you pay they don't need the extracts even to determine insurance. what you pay. hey i think it's all as you are starting from the um the arrest so oh, if you so don't, they don't have consider accident, they don't consider anything so okay. if you if you don't have accidents your first year they can they will start reducing your breath so over 10 years if you don't have any claim you don't have anything then you cannot start paying small small then insurance depends on the model the year of your car if you are using a more recent car i think your insurance is lower but if you are using so it's oh. just like that for us okay so for us in saskatchewan 
it's also you also um, can bring in your nigeria license to start driving and okay. if you bring in your nigeria license you can use that nice license to drive for the first three months of your life yes same here yeah and after the third month if you are caught and you don't have a canadian license you can be prosecuted for that <laughs> yeah and so in the first three months you're expected to you know do your written test first pass that mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. move on to pass your road test so for mm -hmm. me i did the written test twice oh i did it once I did the reading written test twice and I was I wanted to take it because I I was like I what happened to me? So I wanted to take it immediately. They said no. I needed to give it some hours before. So I went back the next day and I had like oh, I called, you can't do that though. You have to do two weeks. No, I went back weeks. the next day for written test. They allowed me have the next day. Oh, and then I, I had hundred percent. I was like I could have had this hundred percent yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and you so I had hours. my road test just once wow but the difference for us is that um you can bring in your extracts and mm -hmm. that would affect that would lower your insurance your extracts from your country your country would they will look at it and then use it to use how long you've been driving your information on the extracts to determine how much insurance you'll be paying Mm. So my husband right now has like a higher, a lower insurance to pay because he's been driving for longer, and yeah, we both brought like we both ordered our got our extract from Nigeria, so he's been driving for longer than I have been, so he pays lower insurance than I am paying. So for Saskatchewan, you can actually use your extract to get yourself reduced um, insurance. Mm. No, we start from the big day. Like I think it's because of what we do they stopped it they before now they used to accept the but i think because of um Mago you know, Mago and <laughs> they just like you know what we are done it's okay we are stopping this yeah so they stopped it for us before now they used to accept it wow that's sad for immigration I'm aware that I know that Saskatoon used to accept some um, family towels like yeah. your PMP. If I have they accept cousin claim, family towels, relative for their PMP in Saskatoon. For Saskatoon? Yeah. Cousin. So, yes, cousin. But the only difference is that the way I am um, a Manitoba can claim a cousin and the uh, NOC, the job thing can be anything. It's not like that for Saskatchewan. It is not specific, um, specified. Like you have to be like um, either a nurse or a surveyor. They, they are occupation in demand. PMP for you to be able thing. to use that type for you to be able to use the tie unlike manitoba for manitoba my cousin can claim me with any knock with any Whoa. job yeah okay so maybe so, that's why i don't know about the saskatchewan so if, if i claim like a family tie and i have a knock um a knock uh, a job in the occupation in demand in saskatchewan and i have you like my cousin it's like additional 20 points for me. So if I'm 68 and I now have you like my cousin and my job knock is in demand, that's um, 88 for me. So and most times the um, range, the score is around 80, 80 something. It used to be 65 when we come yeah, when we came in. Yeah, for 65 and everybody can just enter. Yeah. And like, then some like after the whole COVID thing, it just stopped. It moved from that sixty-five to like. That's what, why they say whatever you want to do, like do it, do yeah, it. Don't be, yeah. well, don't be that, that That's way. what I used to advise people that like, oh, they, I know the way they now see immigration. They feel it is what you start today and tomorrow you be in Canada. A lot of people are not telling us the thing, the sweats, everything. Some people wrote IELTS like 7534. So we actually nine. got, for us, we got rejected after 11 months. The, our first application, our first PMP application. After 11 months, we got a de rejection email that our NOC was not, was not matching wow. 
after 11 your months. experience because i know for saskanton your noc your experience and your certificate must after 11 months after 11 months, after 11 months. wow so but i would say thanks to god because our next application was quite fast Mm. Maybe because they had our information, I don't know. I yeah. not, I oh. cannot say. I'll just say all oh, glory to God. Because so you you went to Saskatchewan with PMP. Yes. So we oh. have a family here. We have my husband's brother. So we got him to give us like family um siblings. So we got yeah. twenty points for that. Yeah. So I think when we were coming, we had we were close to eighty with the with mm. the family tie twenty points thing. Mm -hmm. But for Saskatchewan, the ta the family tag, cousins, friends is not as clear cut as Manitoba. So yes. I'm sure that's why most people are not really like because for for Saskatchewan, if you say you have a cousin or you have a relative, they will ask you, oh yeah, put the number of this your relative at the beginning. On like um, the way Manitoba will now do it, like oh okay, they give you LA, oh yeah, come on, prove it to us that you have relative. As soon as you are putting your application inside that Saskatchewan, you have to say, I have a oh you have a sibling, okay, oh, yeah, go and bring your sibling details. Put details, it yes, we have to fill and in then all those submit details. It. Yeah. Details of our of our grandmothers of. Our yeah and those are just a little little difference where between... they are living how old they are which job are they doing all those yeah things. you have to put it at the beginning yes from the beginning so yeah. tomorrow now my brother if i didn't put my brother on my application tomorrow you can't come and say he wants to claim me well, why it, did you not put yes. him at the yes. initial stage yeah, yeah unlike Mantova that is open and i recently they i think they started doing occupation in demand too it's not a lot the last one they did they did for nothing mm -hmm. just few people got it but for us i know Mantova, we are the center of canada like the old center of canada is in Mantova. there's a place where it's called center of canada the so as the center is, now before 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 you pride before it calm down first <laughs> before you pride Anna, before you pride before you what is the ben what is what are you contributing as the center what is the benefit of being center tell okay. us okay 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 and okay for manitoba anyway else 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 is the same everywhere like um we don't pay and our waiting time is long i know right Shape. so i know that some people have experienced long waiting times depending on the hospitals they use for me the only times i've experienced long waiting times were, were the times i went to the hospital without an appointment if i do walk in i'm going to stay for long do but if i fix an appointment with my doctor i'm staying for like five minutes maximum before i see my doctor okay but so when, when i say waiting time you know all these are our small small working clinics and not the big big like you just seeing a family doctor i mean when it comes to a critical thing that you need to use an emergency yeah, please don't don't just go there let me share one experience i had so i was supposed to i had some um women matter that needed a gynecologist mm -hmm. And then my doctor said she was going to he was going to refer me to a gynecologist and that i should wait for the gynecologist to give me a call and i think i waited for that call for about six or seven months i can imagine before they actually called me and when they called they were like do you still need this service we want to ask you. <laughs> one of the prayer we used to pray over here is that god you know whatever i will do please a lot of magic i saw I saw to Christica. Yeah. I saw only people okay, Tyler. No, I yeah. saw I both, and I was like, "What is?" But well, one time I was I was really sick. I think I was having a tummy upset, or but I just gave. I understand my own situations. I just gave bits then, oh. so they were really scared. They took me as in you. You think the emergency doesn't work until you get a situation that even they, they require they were their emergency they took me in like immediately did like ah, come on see their swiftness so that one i know that if you are the yeah, so, 
If they will respond to immediately. But if you now get to the emergency and they now do try it for you and you are still like you can manage it, uh, you will stay long there. But if you are, so I, I know that <laughs> if I've been referred to the gynecologist because I was pregnant or something, maybe of course. They will know yes. that this is a time bound. This person yeah, is yeah. growing. Yeah. They need to keep checking the baby. Maybe I will have, of course, not maybe. Mm -hmm. I will have gotten a faster time to get. But you know that there was somebody that wanted to do surgery for a child. Maybe tonsils. The surgery oh. for tonsils, and she waited for like like nine months before. She, like yeah, the, yeah. the date they fixed for them was like nine months. But it, I yeah, think they, they, they just, check. They check. They the check the severity. Yeah. Okay, so how is the traffic in Manitoba like? Oh, traffic? For me, there's no road traffic. Road network, traffic. We have a very small road network that connects everywhere. Like, you can be here and find yourself. You can be in the north, find yourself in the south in no time. Like, our traffic is perfect. Like, the okay, distance so is like 25, 30 oh, okay. minutes. Yeah. It's about like, the same you'll course. find yourself everywhere. It's and our traffic, you know, there's times that um, it will be heavy, especially close of work, resumption. And when I say heavy, it's not like um, you now stay in the Thank traffic, you. like Tom Milan Bridge. No, it is still it's like. It's not Toronto. Um, it's still the lights. It's still the. Eh? Yeah. Don't compare Toronto. I think I, it's not Toronto. I went, to Tor I went to Toronto for like all the day for five days. My husband said that. Then we got a car. We hired a car. So we were driving around. He said, ah, this just reminds me of Lagos. I can't Lagos. stay here. I can't come Lagos. and stay in another Lagos. Another Lagos. Leave no, Nigeria, no, no. Lagos. On Canada. the Sunday, we were in steady traffic. On the Sunday. We wanted to go to that the CNN tour. And when we turned back, we did not go. Wow. It was so, it wasn't a public holiday, it wasn't anything, it's just normal, normal weekend that we chose for day. ourselves. Like, um, no, so compared to that, uh, no, Mantoba is perfect, <laughs> no traffic. So, it looks like our, our road network and traffic, like, uh, accurate. yeah, yeah. So, let's talk about uh, time difference right now. We are like 12 34 what's your time right now it's 11 34 here so we are you are we are one hour behind so we are ahead of you with one hour yeah oh the same way you are ahead of us in by 30 cents in your minimum wage <laughs> that one enter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the yeah. from government like i received ccb i'm sure you received ccb i do too. receive ccb too then i aside the federal thing that we get gst ccb um climate incentives and everything uh for all the mantoba they do they call something out rent assist do you receive it too Mm -hmm. so I'm rent sure assist is rent for assist. a newcomer uh or for they you know they check the income of an household and say that if you are less than a particular rent maybe less than 50 for both the husband and the wife then they assist you with rents mm -hmm. it can be as high as one thousand eight fifty for a particular period they'll pay it then for if you are like um, pregnant they can give you some change yeah, some money too from the government of Manitoba and all. Do do, do you have well, any? But that's still that's dependent on your income, right? Uh, yeah, that's everything that they give is dependent on income. So I'll think I know that there is um, there is we we got when we just came we got some low low income something I can't remember what it was called, but it was basically for people that are earning. I think also per household below fifty thousand. I think I was doing we were both doing part-time jobs or something. Below fifty thousand and you need to submit documents every quarter or something. Just yeah. so they, they will check. To adjust it. Yeah, for them to check if you're still eligible to get it. So you need to submit like your maybe your pay slip, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> but yeah, when we just got here, we were we we're getting something for low income and I think it was from Saskatchewan. Um, but you need to call them. It's not something they just they just check. You need to call them to tell them, oh, this is my situation. 
um, and I heard you can help. So it is based on if somebody will give you, or maybe you can just go check the website to see oh, what is applicable or what is obtainable. So somebody told us about it and we gave them a call and we, so maybe there might also be something for rent assist but we never you know it's like information based we never go to yes. yeah we never got to ask we never got to ask if there was if that opportunity was available so it might be i might look it up and maybe make a video about that yeah. So um, lastly, let's talk about the community, like community of um, our Nigerians. How are they? Like when I mean community, the church, the everything, everything. Like, hope oh, they are friendly, Abi. <laughs> yeah, so church is friendly. But I've also realized that um, community is majorly based on your personality. Mm hmm so for example you can have a community if you're also somebody that's that um also tries um, i don't know the right word to use in community some people mm -hmm. uh, for me somebody like me i find it hard to to make friends and i made a video about it on my channel at some point I finally had to make friends, and I think it's because of some experiences I've had with friendships in time past. So building community for me requires extra a lot, work. extra work, extra effort. Um, so there was a time we did, um, we just gathered some families together to go to some a lake. We enjoyed it, but after that lake, we've been trying to organize something else. Everybody have been doing, they are busy, they are busy. So community, yeah, is, yeah, is, is, we have the Nigerian communities. They've had plenty Nigerian, um, in Canada parties during summer. I've not attended any. <laughs> Because I just, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, like it's something I'm, I'm not, I can't say I'm actively working on it. I'm just trying to first build the friendship around me first before I now say I want to, I, I am not, I, I find it hard to make friends. Yeah, so for me, for community, I, I know I can be like a snail, like come out, go in, come out, go in. But you know, I've extended, people were sending friendships to me that I, I really like and I accepted like especially you know when I give birth like we none of our parents could make it down here mm -hmm. so we, it does the community of friends that I have like from taking care of me taking like when I was pregnant I was really enjoying I, like a lady that I met on YouTube now like a family person to me now like, wow. like my personal person say anything you want just tell me like is it food is it this like even when i give birth could just like sometimes she will come to the house do everything like carry the baby you know like lot of things so i know that i can be like oh i don't want but i you know i can be like when you extend it to me and you can help me maintain it a bit then i can like. <laughs> so i think i think that's where i think that's also where the challenge could be Mm -hmm. I've I found that I've tried committing myself to some friendships that it looks like um the only one trying to maintain this friendship. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. Me, I'm trying. I have not been somebody that like friendship before. If I'll be the only one that have to put in effort, then I don't know if I have the energy to be the only one to put in the effort. So <clears throat> I know that there is a place for <clears throat> community, place for, yeah, you need community. Yeah. So for me, that I don't really like to make friends, I found the church as a good community for me. Mm -hmm. I find, yeah, the church basically, that's where my community, uh, that's the only community that I um, actively, actively, what's the word? Present. Building. Yeah. yeah. I'm present. Yeah, so that's the church, basically. I'm but trying to make I, friends yeah, I, I know outside that. church. Um, I know that. Building community takes a lot of work. Sometimes our experience back at home, one, what we can do as human, not even what Nigerian can do, some, some of little greediness, some of little jealousy, some of the little that can be everywhere. And like, eh, let me just be on my own. I don't want to. But like in all, we can't neglect the fact that we need community. Especially need community, for oh. someone like me like 
like a growing family like i have a toddler i have a baby like carrying a baby can be a lot of work without anyone around you imagine just me and my husband like how many can we really do so how you many? know just oh. those small small communities the church and every other places can help like if you check one of my videos like they did baby shower for me do you know oh. that most of the people that came they were friends of friends friends of friends like i don't really have one so i like i know that we need that community especially in these our boring place like you know in nigeria it's a lot to build like just stepping out of your you have some more ah mommy can you call can you call our oh and bear our everything but yeah it's just us the family the husband the child the the wife so we really need community like um to build so that because sometimes people now talk about depression loneliness yeah people experience a lot because yeah. You, you, you. I don't even know my neighbor. My neighbor is just indoor. <laughs> Myself, I'm indoor. Like, so we when really you see yourself see. outside on the road, you're not sure is that my neighbor or being. And somebody. do you know that the time difference is now a lot? If you even if you want to keep your back, your home friends and all. Right now they are going to sleep because yeah, okay, and us, we we are just having the energy. Yeah, this is just for three years. We are like to, so I know that. So we just need to make do with what we have over here so i know it's it's a lot it's a different topic on its own having friends around here but i know the, yeah, like, but just yeah, the way um, i reached out to you like i know so i can be like what if you know not answer me it's like there's no army so trying. i think the only the only um collaboration i've also had on this channel i was the one that reached out to the mm. person after that one, I tried reaching out for another collaboration that ended in. Yeah. After that one, I went into my shell. Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just like because I'm, you know, I'm now at home, like for maternity leave for one year, and I'm like, okay, let's do some collabs. And you know, I reach out to some people. They're like, oh yes, yes, and then, okay, let's do now. That's all. They don't want yet. to. <laughs> Master <Yeah>. Piat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was. I think the second one. I asked, the first one that I reached out. We fixed the time. We went. We filmed two videos, and then after that one, are we not supposed to have kept up? Kept up the energy after that one video. I think that that would have that should have been like a year ago now. We've not. Yeah. Just, I know it's a lot for you, people you? that like it, me. I, you just need to drag me, then I will. I will come out. Why like, do you need to drag? I'm the life of the party. When the one people. that made this happen, <laughs> guys, she was the one that made this collab happen. <laughs> you know, when I was saying, ah, I don't know. The only one I've done is physical. I don't know how to do virtual. <laughs> she was the one that went to look for how are we going to do it. She did all yeah, this. Yeah, like in fact, at the beginning of this video, I was calling her tech mama, tech it, tech it. <laughs> Because she was the one that started this, and now she has gendered me <laughs> to go look for other collaborations. Because really, yeah. um, I know that friendships are also formed from like people become good friends from online. Yeah, they get online and we are good friends. So it happens, yeah. and um, Oluwa Kemi has gendered me to look for my online community that will become my physical friends you know <laughs> so and everyone gradually... thank you for watching this video if you have any question any other question about living in saskatoon or living in manitoba just put it in the comment section she's there she will always give us the answer to it and if i have to i'll put the answer to it so everyone say thank you to christy for for having creating the time for us to you know and then we are going to do another video so you need to go to our channel so in the next video we want to talk about how we order versus what we got we want to you talk know? about canada what we ordered versus what we got we want to you yeah. know talk about it she's been here for two years i've been here for like almost three years we want to yeah. share our experiences and see is, did we get what we ordered when we came to canada <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you need to rush down to our channel now to watch it and that's the name of our channel on all social media platform you'll see us with this name too please yeah. let's grow together thanks so thank you everyone thank you for having me bye <laughs> bye <laughs>